Hello everyone. So in this video we will discuss about that what are adjuvants and the example of adjuvants like alum, friends, complete and incomplete adjuvants. So let's get started. So first of all we should know that uh, what are adjuvants. Adjuvants are the chemicals which just increase the immunogenicity of an antigen. So to understand this term, first of all we should know that what are antigens. So antigens are the generally foreign substances which when comes inside the body, they, gen they generate the specific immune response and they also they cause the diseases. So disease causing antigens are generally known as pathogens. But sometimes the antigen is very weak that it is foreign to body but it is not able to evoke or you can say it is not able to activate the immune system. So for that weak antigen, we can use certain substances that if that substance is mixed with the weak antigen, so the mixture of this weak antigen and these substances ultimately activate the immune system. So you can say these substances which increase the immunogenicity of that weak antigen these are generally known as adjuvants so as i know as i told that the adjuvants are the substance which are when mixed with antigen they enhance the immunogenicity of that antigen so that substance are known as adjuvants now with help of uh, animation i will try to clear the concept of this adjuvant. So suppose these blue dots, these are represent the antigens or you can say these represent the weak antigen. So if the weak antigen, it attack the or it interact with the immune cell. Means if it comes inside the body and interact with the immune cell, this weak antigen. So after the interaction with the immune cell, there will be no formation of antibody or you can say there will be no immune response because the antigen was very weak. But in case of adjuvants, if we take adjuvants, so these you can say pink circles, they represent the adjuvant. So if this weak antigen, it is mixed with that adjuvant. So in this case, it you can say there will be a formation of antigen and adjuvant complex. Now this antigen and adjuvant complex is now if it interact with this immune cells. So after the interaction of this antigen and adjuvant complex with the immune cells. So there will be generation of antibodies or you can say the antibody will be formed or in simple words immune system gets activated. So this adjuvant it you can say it makes that this weak antigen can now also activate the immune system. So these are the adjuvants which increase the immunogenicity of the weak antigens. Now let's discuss some example of adjuvants. So first is the alum, the aluminium potassium sulfates. When we mix the antigen with alum, so the antigen get precipitated with this salt. Now if this mixed antigen is injected into the body, so this antigen will be released slowly because this salt it precipitates the antigen and now this antigen will be released slowly from this site of injection and as it is released slowly so you can think that its time of stay inside the body also get increased so if the time of stay get increased so immune system get enough time to activate against that antigen so in this way this alum increase the immunogenicity of an antigen and secondly this and this alum it also increase the size of antigen so when the size of antigen get increased so the phagocytic cells they will more easily phagocytose the antigen because now the cell of that uh, now the size of that weak antigen got increased due to the adjuvant so it will be easily or you can say more rapidly get phagocytose ultimately you can say now the immunogenicity of that weak antigen has got enhanced due to this adjuvant. Second example of the adjuvants is the friends incomplete adjuvants. 
this fluids in complete adjuvant it contain aqueous solution mineral oil and an emulsifying agent which is known as menide monoolate this menide monoolate or this you can say this formulation it disperses into oil and these small droplets they surround the antigen and due to this now antigen is also slowly released from this site of injection so due to this slowly release again the time of that antigen inside the body increase and immune system get enough time to get activated so in this way the immunogenicity also get enhanced the second is fruits complete adjuvant in this case it also contain all formulation of fruits incomplete that is it contain mineral oils menide monoolate but beside these it also contain a component of the bacteria that is mycobacterium and that component is the muramyl dipeptide this muramyl dipeptide it is a component of cell wall of mycobacterium and this component it activate the macrophages inside the body so if it activate the macrophages so you can think that after the activation of macrophages so immune response will also get activated or you can say also get rapid so due to this activation of macrophages and slow release of the antigen the ultimate immune response will also get enhanced so this fruits complete adjuvant also increase the immunogenicity of that particular weak antigen so that was about the adjuvant that what are adjuvants and how they act and what are the examples of adjuvants so that's all for today guys see you in the next video